Hello and welcome to this short tryout video on math. I have a question for you here. What is the last digit of this big number 83873782 raised to power this another big number 374376459? That means what is the digit we are going to get on the units place of this huge expression when it is expanded? Sounds inhuman right now? Don't worry, towards the end of this video, you will be able to get this question right in a matter of 10 seconds. Finding the last digit of base raised to power power, something like this. Finding the last digit of 38 raised to power 175. I'll give you a very basic three-step approach for solving these questions. The concept, step one, consider only the last digit of the base. Let's say B. So in this case, of 38, the only digit we need to worry about is this 8. This 3 is not going to play any role in finding out the last digit. So step 1, simply consider the last digit of the base, that is 8 in this case. We're calling it B here. Step 2, find the remainder of the power with 4. Remainder of the power 175 or whatever the power is. Always find out the remainder with 4. Let's call it R. And the step 3 is going to be to find the last digit of the last digit of base raised to power remainder with 4 or simply b raised to power r that is the last digit of b raised to power r so very simple approach since it is a tryout video for the purpose of brevity i am not getting into why this happens but this is a very simple approach which will help you solve all the questions of this particular type on the gmat and a small tip involved here, that is to find the remainder with 4, simply divide the last two digits of a number by 4. You know, so when you're finding the remainder with 4, you don't have to divide the entire number, you have to just divide the last two digits, find the remainder with 4, that is going to be the remainder for the entire number. So let's now take this question, 38 raised to power 175, step 1 is to consider base 8, the last digit of 38, that is 8 here, that's step 1. Step 2 is going to be to divide the power with 4. So step 2, divide the power by 4 or simply divide the last two digits of the power by 4. 75 with 4 will give you a 3 remainder. And step 3 is very simple. It's simply 8 raised to power 3. That is 5 and 2. And there was the last digit is 2. Again, you don't have to calculate 8 raised to power 3 since 8 raised to power 3 means 8 times 8 times 8. You can do an 8, 8 is a 64. 64 means 4 and 4 is the 32 so the last digit is going to be 2 you don't have to actually calculate 5 and 2 so let's take one more example 537 raised to power 3958 what is the first step first step is that base is 7 what is the second step second step is to find the remainder of this entire power by 4 or simply the last two digits by 4 so 3958 with 4 or this is the symbol I'll be using very often in my videos. It means remainders. So remainder of 3958 with 4 or simply the last two digits 58 by 4. The result would be the same 2. And therefore my answer is 7 raised to power 249. The last digit therefore is 9. So it's a very simple way of solving these questions. Now let's take that big inhuman question on the home slide. This is what the question was. Big, big base raised to power, big power. By now you would have realized that however big these numbers are, there are only few digits that matter to me, the last digit of the base and the last two digits of the power. So the first step is going to be considering the base two. The second step is finding out the remainder of, you know, this power by four or simply the last two digits. These two digits matter. The remainder of last two digits by 4, that is 3. And therefore, 2 raised to power 3, my answer is 8. Yeah, that's my answer. So see, you can do it in do it in 10 seconds. Last digit of base 2 raised to power, remainder of 59 with 4, that's 3. So 2 raised to power 3 is 8. Yeah, that was all that easy. However, there is an exception involved. The exception is that whenever the remainder is 0, Things change a bit when the remainder is 0. For example, if I have a 42 raised to power 200 and uh, so we divide 200 by 4, the remainder turns out to be 0. If it were 2 raised to power 0, you get the last digit as 1. The last digit 
cannot be one because it's an even number here even number raised to power anything will give you the last digit as an even number so things change a bit when the remainder you get is zero so a simple term rule is that whenever you, whenever you get the remainder as zero take the remainder as four since it is a tryout video i am not delving into why i have explained it in our detailed videos that you will see later uh, for now i'll just tell you that whenever you get the remainder as zero take the remainder as four for example, look at this, 32 raised to power 1, 2, 4, 0. The base is 2, the remainder is 0. So we don't take the remainder as 0, we take the remainder as 4. And therefore, the answer would be 2 raised to power 4, 16. And therefore, the last digit is 6. Pretty straightforward. Whenever the remainder is 0, take the remainder as 4. That is the exception I'm talking about. Let's take one more example. 518 raised to power 780. Remainder of the last two digit is 0, so we don't take the remainder as 0, we rather take it as 4. So we do an 8 raised to power 4, not an 8 raised to power 0. 8 raised to power 4, again you don't have to find out 8 raised to power 4, you can do an 8 into 8 and 8 into 8. These two 8s will give you a 4, these two 8s will give you a 4 and therefore the last digit is 6. You know, though if you find out, you will find out 4096, that's not important. You have to just find the last digit and therefore the last digit is 6. That's my answer. So now with this learning under your belt, please try these questions. I have these four questions for you here. Please pause the video and try it yourself. Please pause it because I'm going to solve these questions now. So in this case see it's 8 raised to power the remainder of 63 so it's going to be simply 8 raised to power 3 and therefore the answer is going to be 2 8 raised to power 3 that's 2 in this case see the last digit is going to be 3 and the remainder of last two digits is again 3 3 raised to power 3 that's 27 and therefore my answer is going to be 7 in this case see this will give me a 6 raised to power 2 and this will give me a 4 raised to power 0 so we will rather take it as 4 raised to power 4 so that's going to be a 6 plus 6 and therefore my last digit is going to be 2 my last digit is going to be 2 that's my answer in this case I'm going to get a 9 raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 4 so that is 9 minus 6 and therefore the answer is 3 that's the answer one final catch my friend find the last digit of this one so what do we do now it resolves to basically 8 raised to power 3 8 raised to power the remainder is 3 minus 9 raised to power the remainder here is 1 so this will give me a 2 and this will give me a 9 so 2 minus 9 negative so what do we do don't commit that mistake of converting this negative 7 into positive 7 see if you have a number like 32 here and you are subtracting a, a number which has a bigger unit digit what do you do 32 minus 19 what you do is you take 10 carry from here and this 2 becomes 12 and then 12 minus 9 becomes 3 so in such cases it's not 2 actually you can make it a 12 or a better way would be to add 10 to it you know minus 7 plus 10 the answer is 3 so that is how you solve these questions if you get the last digit as something negative you know add 10 to it so i hope this was helpful so on that note i thank you for watching this video in case you have any questions please write to us on support at expertsglobal.com and you will definitely receive a reply until then good luck with your gmat preparation thanks for watching